Hey guys, it's Woody, and this is the 100th episode of Mail Monday. It's kind of special to me. Typically, I lead off saying, hey, it's not so much about the gameplay, but instead it's about your questions, my answers to them. This week will be different. This week will be about Mail Monday. It's a meta show, a Mail Monday about Mail Monday and what it's meant to me. So I hope that you like it. By the way, the gameplay in the background is Warframe. It kind of reminds me of Borderlands, but it's free. <laughs> so there's a link in the description if you want to try it out. Mail Monday didn't start off with a plan. I was just answering my YouTube messages. That's all there was to it. It got overwhelming and there were tons of them and I thought maybe a more efficient way to do this, since to me these questions seemed repetitive, would be to answer them in public and give advice as sort of a more widespread type thing, you know? This can't be the only person out there that's you know, thinking of doing something stupid like hurting himself. This can't be the only person out there that's having a girl problem. Let's answer them you know, in a video form and let everybody hear you know, what I have to say. That was the birth of Mail Monday, and it's turned into one of the cornerstones of my channel. It, you know, I, I think when people hear me, they often think of Mail Monday. Even though I do like, you know, 14, 15 videos a week, they think of Mail Monday first when they think of me. In the very beginning, Mail Monday was kind of just an easy video. Like it, it in my head, it, it kind of wrote itself. You know, like, how do I do this? I give my opinion on it, and it was a piece of cake. Since then, it's changed into much more than that. Since then, it's become like a, a part of me. It's it's become something that makes me proud. And feedback is why that is. Like I, here, let me read a letter to you. Dear Woody's Gamer Tag, Woody, I have no other words to say other than thank you for what watching your videos have done for me. I've been a fan since Modern Warfare 3. My favorite series more than any other is Mail Monday. I've seen every episode. I'm 13 and I've lost 20 pounds and I've gotten girls numbers. And you can imagine how I went from a 2.3 GPA to a 3.7 GPA. I've started not to be as selfish and rude. People ask me what I've done to change my habits, and I said I've learned from the online God. What do you change my life so much? And for that I thank you. Any reply would be great. Thank you. I I get a lot of these. You know, I, I had one guy actually mail me his report card and and show me the difference that it made in his life. I've had lots of guys tell me how they got the girl, or at the very least, moved on from the girl after having the courage to to sort of belly up and ask him out. I, I've had a lot of people saying that, you know, they were depressed and that they're here. I have another one right here. You saved my life. Thank you. Woody, I know you'll probably never read this, but I wanted to say thank you. I'm depressed. I've tried to commit suicide three times and I failed. I just don't know what to do. My grandmother just died. My girlfriend broke up with me at her funeral and I've been kicked out of school. I have no motivation and no passions. My parents hate me, and my family thinks I'm a failure. I feel as if I have no reason to live. But I've been watching your Mail Monday videos over and over, and I've realized that my life just started. I'm 16. Your story about your bout with depression has really helped me. I've decided to give my life a second chance, so thank you. Hopefully I'll be able to send you a letter six months down the road telling you how successful I am now. But thank you for hopefully changing my life. This guy's 16 years old, <laughs> he's tried to kill himself before, and he's decided to give life another go. <sighs> you know, I get as much out of this as you guys do, and that's something that I wanted to share. I, I feel like I'm a better guy, like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a different man because of the influence that some of you have allowed me to have by opening up your lives to me. When I make a difference, it makes me feel good. And, you know, hopefully it's a win for you too. That's what Mail Monday's been for me. It, it, you know, it, it started as just what I thought was a more efficient way to reply to your emails. And it's turned into 
a way that, you know, however big or however small, we can have a positive impact on what's going on around us. That, <laughs> I feel like, you know, you've made me a better man. You know, sometimes I wonder when Mail Monday will end. You know, what am I going to do with it? it then, then sometimes I I start to see like it, it, it's not just about me, right? It, it's it's almost like a public resource. Like you know, I, I'm not supposed to be ending this thing because that's kind of selfish. I, I, like I feel like I have an obligation to carry on and to do the best I can because I have a, a an influence that can do good and yeah it is good it's it's amazing that this has happened and it's amazing that it's that it's happened to me i like i know me and i know that i'm just kind of an ordinary guy but you know for this 10 15 minutes a week i feel extraordinary you know, I feel extraordinary. I feel like what I'm doing can be really a good thing. And and I think it I I think there are people who haven't killed themselves because of this show. I think there are teen pregnancies that didn't happen because of this show. I think that you know, there are boyfriends and girlfriends who who talk to each other because of this show. There's a lot of cool stuff that's happened because of this show. And the thought that I could somehow have that kind of influence would have been ridiculous to me a couple years ago. But here we are with episode 100, and the, you know, the letters just keep coming. I'm 20 years old. I was a very fucked up kid when I was younger, doing drugs and drinking a lot. Till like six months ago, it came to a downfall when I was stupidly drinking and driving, and I flipped my car. The paramedics don't know how I survived, but since then I've been in a deep depression to the point where I might have killed myself. But every time I watch your videos, it brings a smile to your face. Thank you, Woody, for being such a good guy and making such great videos. But sincerely, thank you because you basically helped me break my depression. You're a great father and a great husband and a, and a great man in general. Keep the vids coming. This doesn't have to be on Mail Monday or anything. I just hope that you read it. But thanks again. Oh, and fuck Kyle and rest in peace, Wings. <laughs> it's hard to read the great man stuff. Because I like I, I honestly don't believe it. I, I feel like I know me. I'm just a regular guy. Like it I I've known me forever. You know, I know all my flaws. I, I know that time I lost my temper. I know that you know, mistake I made. I, I know I wake up with, with my hair messed up, believe it or not, sometimes. And, I, I, you know, it... it <laughs> so while I read this great man stuff and feel like it's too much to be true, like, you know, you, you're being too kind, I... I also see it and think like, you know, <laughs> some good stuff has happened here and it makes me proud of me sometimes, you know, and, and like that <laughs> proud's not something I get to feel all the time, right? Like I'm, I'm generally happy with who I am and I bet you feel the same way. I bet it. At a high level, you're like, yeah, I'm a good guy. I do right. But you don't always say, like, damn, you know, like, I'm proud of me. I, I really did something special here. I, like, it, it's rare that, like, I'm proud. Like I, like, I think, wow, you know, you've really done something that not everybody does. But this series makes me feel like I did do something that not everybody does like like something went right this time like I, I you know it, if I were to drop dead right now then I would have still had a measurable impact 
that I wouldn't have had if I had just stayed as a full-time, you know, computer programmer. That, um, like, like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm not deep into religion. I don't talk about this much, but it, it's, you know, if the universe or, or whatever had some sort of path for me, I think I was supposed to go this way. I think that I was supposed to, you know, take my turn on YouTube and see if I could make things better. Even if that better, you know, is somewhat local, right? Even if that better is, is you know, doesn't change the world as much as it just changes a few lives, that's not bad, you know? I, I, my last project at Cisco was matching up customer support representatives with customers in a way that would give them the best service, hopefully. That's fine, I guess, but you don't really do that job and think that you've changed the world. You do that job and you think you've, you know, made router problems more efficiently solved. It's, you know, I, I, I move databases from one country to another you know, to increase the response time on some web page, that's fine, but it, it's it's not the kind of stuff where I look back and say, you know, like I'm I'm doing something right with life, and this series has given me a touch of that. So, um, you know, I've been reading letters where people thank me, but I feel like it's only appropriate to thank you. To say, like, you've made me a, a different person and, you know, occasionally proud, which I, I can't stress <laughs> how rare true pride is. Like, it's not my default state. My default state is just kind of casual in me. But to, to feel like I did something special, like I, I helped a guy out or a bunch of guys out, it makes me think that and I'm on the right path and uh, and hopefully you are too so um you know forgive me for doing something a little different for the 100th episode of Mail Monday I hope that you enjoyed it and have a good day the captive has been secured you've done your part Tenno we'll take it from here <laughs> Thank you.